medium, most of them can give you a pretty straightforward answer. But not Laura Dunn. Here's Steve Minnick in with this week's Made in Maine. I usually say, well, I'm all over the place. And it's actually true. Safe to say, Laura Dunn's artwork spans a wide spectrum. Part of the reason is that I just adore playing and I adore um, experimenting. From the tiniest of pottery to her tall sculptures. From weaving to wielding a chainsaw. Whatever the piece, Laura loves the challenge of waking up each morning and wondering which of her tasks she'll tackle. Really is it very intuitive and um, and some days it just doesn't happen. But other days you, you could just go all day long. One day she might be trudging through the woods in search of a fallen tree to carve a totem pole. The next day spending hours sitting still, working meticulously on miniature pots some of them no larger than a fingernail. So I can sit for hours and, and just make these and everyone is completely different. Still, for all that is so distinctively different with Laura's works. You never know exactly what you're gonna get. There is one significant similarity. No matter the painting, no matter the carving or plastic tapestry. This is um, plastic bags. That's it's Hannaford, it's Home Depot. It's all about repurposing materials. Nothing goes just straight from, you know, me to the trash. It always has a pathway. And um, if I'm not making something out of it, I'm using it for something else. Laura works on a simple premise. Observe, collect, repurpose, and make. Exactly what she makes might depend on her mood that day, but no matter how contrasting her work, the message is identical. Using what is at hand, um, trying to not have things go in the waste stream, finding um, beauty in the mundane is very, very important to me. Well, to get a true feel for the wide spectrum of Dunn's work, Steve recommends checking out her website. Total coverage at five starts right now. I may be tracking.